Well, thanks everybody for coming out. We're, uh, I got a couple of lists of tunes that we're going to work from here for the next little while, and uh, so some Missouri tunes and uh, some Canadian tunes too. I really like Canadian music too, so I play a lot of that just because it kind of fit the style I've learned when I was growing up, and so I play some of those tunes as well. And so let's see here. Let's start out. With, uh, and, and you know, this, kind of, kind of, this can be kind of like you're sitting in my living room and we're playing tunes, so you, know, you don't necessarily have to clap after every tune, because I'm going to play a lot of little ditties, kind of short, you know, so if you want to wait till the end to clap or, or just yell at me to play something else, you can do that too. So uh, let's try uh, a little 14 Days in Georgia. That's in C. Yeah, it starts on C. It starts on C too, yeah. That's good. <laughs> City playing with bluegrass band. His style fit that way of playing, you know, because that's kind of a bluegrassy tune. But that's actually an old Tommy Jackson tune. Has anybody heard of Tommy Jackson? You know, he's put out a lot of records in the 50s, and a lot of old time fiddlers were uh, influenced heavily by him. You know, they liked the tunes were played really good, and they were really nice arrangements. And so that, that's a Tommy Jackson tune here. Uh, why don't we play another Tommy Jackson tune? Let's see if I can think of it here. Uh, uh, Acorn Hill Breakdown, in D, yeah. And, and uh, this is another tune a, a mid-Missouri fiddler played, but it's also, a, turned out later, it was a Tommy Jackson tune, so, but I, I like it a lot. It's uh, called Acorn Hill Breakdown.
for the old time Jackson in there. As you can tell, these tunes are, I like kind of notey tunes, you know, that, or, where the, the fiddle does kind of drives the rhythm. Sometimes you're driving the rhythm more with the kind of left hand phrasing than you are with the with the bow phrasing. So, but that, that's a very nice little tune there. Uh, well, we were fooling around earlier with uh, an Arthur Smith tune, which is a rag called Smith's Rag. And you commented that the first and second parts sound exactly alike, and they pretty much do. So, and everybody know who Arthur Smith was one of the big fiddlers in the early days of recorded fiddle music from Tennessee. This is one of his tunes, Smith's Rag. And the thing I like about it, I kind of play a Kenny Baker version, which has a third part in C, so it makes it a little more interesting, because otherwise, as you'll see as we play it, then the first and second part are eh, kind of similar. <laughs> So uh, let's see, it's, 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 it's G, G, C, yeah, yeah. And maybe the C part's twice, but I think based on what you were telling me, but don't worry about that. Right. You'll come to it, you know. All right. I have to be careful because this tune starts up just like Deal Pickle Ray, and I'll end up playing the wrong tune here. so that kind of collect their tunes too because they'll be gone sometime soon. But it was fun to figure out <clears throat> which tunes were like from the local tradition and which tunes they got off records. So it was, it was kind of cool to flip through their 78s and their LPs, you know, because a lot of fiddlers are like sponges so they don't necessarily care where the tune came from uh, as long as they like it, you know. So, so a lot of these kind of more commercial fiddle tunes I learned from old-time fiddlers by ear initially and then later on found out oh these are like you know this was recorded by some guy in Nashville which is still cool you know it's still great tunes but so I'm trying to play a, a few tunes here that 
that I suspect are uh, are uh, real like central Missouri fiddle tunes, you know. So there's one uh, that. and he was a uh, played anybody's music because he was a very talented guy but he played this tune called Fiddler's Hoedown which is kind of like he learned from a previous generation of guys there in Boone County and uh, has an un unspeakable title today so we called he called it Fiddler's Hoedown for that reason I'll see if I can play a little bit but I think this is a real uh, authentic Boone County fiddle tune Mixing it up with something else. It was, a, it was a big plan to play this. There it is. It's just a rules tune, you know. few more filing cabinets full of junk to post about fiddlers that I knew in Missouri and photos and whatnot. But one of the pages I created was called Missouri Fiddler Quotes or something. I can't forget what the title is. You can look for it. But I've asked several guys my generation, you know, hey, tell me the most juiciest quotes from some of the old fiddlers, you know. And one of Pete McMahon's great quotes was, he'd say, he had this kind of gruff voice to say, boy, never put a blue note no down, you know. Well, if you listen to that tune, you know, you... I mean, it's like the tune is like, every tune he played was loaded with blue notes, you know. But, that, but it somehow he thought, you know, uh, that was something he had to tell you, was never put a blue note in the down. You can really put a blue note in the down, it's okay. As long as the guitar player doesn't. <laughs> yeah, as long as the guitar player doesn't think you're switching to a minor key or something. <laughs> There was another one of Pete's tunes uh, I was playing, uh, we were messing with this afternoon a little bit. We actually practiced a little bit today. Uh, it's, it's a really cool tune called Virginia Darling, and, but it's really bluegrassy. And then when I first heard it, I said, wow, that's like something Baker would play, you know, or, or uh, you know, Chubby Wise would play. And then I later discovered that the only recorded sources off of a uh, Joe Meadows record, I don't know if many of you heard Joe Meadows, it's a, Really great. Do you remember what band he played with, Paul? Oh, yeah, he, he, he's a great bluegrass fiddler and played a lot of hoedowns too. I, he was with one of the big bands in the 50s and 60s. But so I think this tune came from him. But it's a really cool tune called Virginia Darling. It's an A.
straight bluegrass fiddle tune is about as bluegrassy as you can get. But uh, let's try to try a waltz. There's a really nice waltz I like that I still play it all the time. That uh, that it's a kind of a you know widely played waltz all over the country called the Good Night Waltz. But a lot of fiddlers there in uh, in Mid Missouri played this uh, C and F. He plays this little extra thing at the end, so I'll try to do this little extra part. So it's like, so that makes it kind of a three-part tune, but, but it's a really great hoedown. It should have been a Missouri tune. There it is.
jigs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's not that. We're good. We're getting to that. Yeah. yeah. And after I play this, Vince, would you mind coming up and playing a couple tunes? That'd be great. So I'm gonna play a couple of jigs. I've slogged through a couple of jigs. I'd rather say uh, the jig uh, form, the six eight tune, is used to be really common in the Midwest. And, uh, and the first tune, though, is kind of a Scottish jig, which I just like to play for contra dances. Called Maggie Brown's favorite. But this is one I'll try to go into the next time. And this reason I don't play a lot of medleys is usually I screw up when I try to switch tunes. But uh, the second tune is called Little Burnt Potato, which is a Canadian tune, but I learned it from uh, these guys in North Missouri. Cyril Stennett and Dwight Lamb played it. But they learned it off of some Canadian fiddle record that just it fit their style of playing. So the first one's in G and the second. D, excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, you can play it C if you want. Yeah. set play, say to the guys in the band, C Jam Blues Boys, B flat. So you, can't, you can't always tell if the key is in the title. Anything can happen. But we're going to play the C. Go ahead and start out. I 
give you an example. I'll give you four and one. But it, this is one of those tunes that starts on a funny. It's, it sounds like pickup notes, but it's not. <laughs> I'll give you. I'll give you a couple bumps. Start out for me. 